I was young, naive. War fell upon us so quickly. There was no word from the king. The land destroyed. People were butchered like cattle. They burned our homes. The barons moved with murderous haste. And then they reached us. People prepared <laughs> as if they had a chance. My lord watched, waiting for the inevitable. In my heart, I knew that for my lord, this battle was lost. But for me, the war was just beginning. A time for ambition in an age of endless war. Stronghold 2. Build your castle well. Bring him down! Idiot! The king? No. Barclay does not hold him. Maybe the rumors are true. William, what if he really has fled? Hasten. We must reach the boat. What now? Now, Master Steele, we travel inland up the river to a long forgotten castle. Some monks have need of your aid. So it is true. Hmm. They search for their king. Shortly, you will be meeting your first employee, Tom Simpkins, the scribe. May he serve you well. Now, I must bid you farewell, Matthew. I ride on today to find support for our cause. Sir William often spoke of our cause. In truth, with the king dead or fled abroad, I know not the purpose of our fight. Three weeks ago, I was Sir William's page, and yet now there are so few left that the royal champion can trust that I find myself here in command of my own estate. Well, if it is not young Matthew Steele, I do believe you have grown since we last met. The brothers and I need help, Matthew. The bridge leading to our monastery has collapsed, as you can see. Provide us with the wood and stone we need to repair the bridge, and we shall give you a flock of sheep in payment. You do well, Master Steele, but please hurry. The brothers are late for an important mission. There is a holy relic they must recover.
Thank you, young Matthew. With the bridge repaired, the brothers can begin their quest, and I can get back to my duties. Oh, and here are the sheep I promised. Um, thank you, Fire Jacob. I shall send word to Sir William. Great. What am I to do with sheep? Give them each a sword and send them forth into battle? What is it, Barclay? Someone infiltrated my castle. I thought you had better know. Who was it? There were two of them. The youngest one I did not recognize, but the other... Well, who was the other? From a distance, it was you, Devereux. <laughs> How interesting. I have had them tracked down. I thought you could deal with them. Well, I could. But why not give our friend Olaf another big bag of gold? <laughs> Great idea. So, my brother still lives. I see you have settled in well, Master Steel. Now, if you find yourself short on food, there is a meadow close to our monastery ideal for rabbit hunting. You are most welcome to eat all you can, as personally, I find them quite a pest. Thank you, Friar. I shall commission some hunters. A message came from Sir William. He's negotiating with Flemish traders for a company of archers. The people of Flanders suffer a notoriously harsh winter and find themselves in need of cloth which I am to provide. Sir William has requested that I start cloth production immediately. There is word from Sir William. Matthew, you must make haste with your cloth production. Flemish trading ships have sighted a longboat belonging to Olaf Grimtooth, the Viking warlord. It will do our cause no favor to have his berserkers running riot. Oh, sorry? Did you say there's no need to pay tax? Well, I never. Oh, have you heard? The price of fish has gone up again. Oh, not that I ever buy fish. My family eat well, but it would be nice to feed them up. Your, there is word from Sir William. Olaf is heading your way, and the Flemish have yet to dispatch their archers. I will shortly send you a constable to give you military guidance, but please hurry. We are doomed. No one can stop Olaf. His bloodthirsty berserkers are fearless. We are no match for them. Afternoon, sire. Last bit of linen, that. That is the last of the cloth. I hope Sir William has a plan, as we have left ourselves defenseless. There's nothing to fear, Tom. I'm sure Sir William will soon arrive with reinforcements. A travelling storyteller has arrived. Once upon a time, the king held the most grand of feasts. He invited lords and ladies from throughout the kingdom to gather in one of his great halls. The cooks and servants worked well to see the feast was ready on time, so were too busy to see the traitor in their midst. The guests arrived and marveled at the delicacies on the table. Five years ago today, hostilities in our great nation ended. I have summoned you here to pay homage to our fallen heroes and to usher in a new era of peace. Raise your glasses with me in a toast to a new beginning.
beginning. The king is poisoned. Apothecary. Knowing his life hung by a thread, the king summoned Sir William to his side. Your Majesty, I shall watch our borders most carefully. And that is the story of how the king was poisoned. <laughs> that is a castle! This is going to be one of the easiest battles you bloodhounds have ever fought. You do not need me here. I will wait further down the coast. I remember when Olaf raided our country last. He left only destruction in his wake. This man butchered many families and I'm determined that my people will not suffer the same fate. William's constable has arrived and at last I will have some men to command. Sire, Constable John Briggs at your service, sire. The cloth has been sent to Flanders, but there is no news of Sir William and his archers. We must hold Olaf back on our own. We need a barracks and an armory, and I suggest getting our spear production up and running fast. Begging your pardon, my liege, but I have taken the liberty of setting up a trade agreement with a local merchant. We can now sell any cloth we produce directly to him. Matthew, we wish to help, but are being attacked by dangerous bears. If you can get rid of them, we will happily help guard the road to the east. Villagers have seen bears roaming free, my lord. It is most distressing for them. Our troops are under attack! Some of our fighting monks are on the way, as promised. The Lord is my master. Our faith is unshakable. The flesh is weak, but the spirit is strong. Here they come! Troops are under attack! They are running, sire! The day is ours! Sir William has sent us a message. I pray you are alive to read this. There is a new ally in our midst, but I need your aid most swiftly. Choose a few good men and march out to meet me. The rider I have sent knows the way. It seems I'm going to get my first taste of siege warfare. I've taken my strongest men and followed the guide, who's led us to a castle with William's men encamped outside it. William, you left me at the mercy of Olaf. You knew I needed more men, but you did not send them. Why? You need more than troops to win a war, friend. You need guile and nerve to be victorious. I hope you have learned that lesson well. <laughs> well, what are we doing here? Is this not Lady Seren's castle? You have a keen eye, Matthew. It is indeed. She holds Sir Edwin Blackfry hostage within. We recovered a message arrow from him. He offers land, title, and more importantly, troops for his release. Sir William, I understood you and Lady Seren were to be married. That was a long time ago. Much has changed since then. She now forges dark alliances, choosing to side with the very traitors who have stripped these lands bare. Let the siege commence. Now that I have them distracted, take these ladder men and on my mark, get over that wall on the far side of the fort. Now, Matthew, move in and get up that wall. Stay 
on the walls and work your way around to their banner. If their flag falls, so will their courage. The castle is ours. Well, you took your time. I thought I was going to be prisoner to that witch forever. Witch? Yes, I saw her with my own eyes, dabbling with the black arts. We should burn her at the stake. Anyway, enough. Let us leave this hellhole before she returns. Are you not forgetting something? Oh, oh yes, very well. Matthew, uh, Neil. <sighs> I dub thee Sir Matthew Steele, arise, Sir Knight. A knighthood, huh? No more than you deserve, Sir Steele. <laughs> Yes, 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 all very jovial, but can we get a move on? Oh, William, what have you done? You will regret this day, William. Releasing that traitor is the worst mistake you have ever made. My tasks here are many. Sir Richard Gray has been loyal fighting in these borderlands for over a decade. His cause is almost lost as the bull's lackeys have him a prisoner in his own castle. Sir William has scouted north and reports terrible news. Friar Jacob's monks, having recovered their holy relic, are now trapped by wolves and are desperate for our help. An outlaw camp in an estate to the west of here is robbing and harassing our estates. I shall have to deal with them at some point. And finally, the main reason for me being here, Angus MacLeod himself. Dislodging the bull from his castle will be no mean feat. I'm ill at ease with our alliance to this Edwin Blackfly. The castle Edwin's given me lays on the border regions and one of the country's oldest foes looms to the north. Sir Edwin has sent us some troops, my liege. Wolves are abroad in the land, my lord. The peasants are troubled. Sire, the wolves to the north are on the move. Is there nothing we can do for Friar Jacob's monks? The men hear wolves howling from the battlements. They even imagine the screams of the monks. Is there nothing we can do for... Thank you, Sir Steele. We are once again indebted to you. The brothers who have survived are willing to lay down their lives for your cause and would be proud to fight alongside you. S sir, a letter has arrived. It is from the king. The king? Then he is alive! Huzzah! All oh, well and good, but where exactly is he? Abroad, no doubt, leaving us here to do all the fighting? News of your exploits has reached me, and I must say I am most mightily impressed. I offer you a promotion as a debt of gratitude for your right noble actions. Be careful, however, how you choose your friends. My advisors have implicated Sir William in a plot to steal the crown. So, what does it say? Oh, um, uh, nothing much. He is alive, and that's all that matters. Oh, uh, and I got a promotion. This is interesting news. Sir William, leave your men here and travel south with me. I have something of great importance to show you. This makes no sense. Why would the King believe Sir William to be a traitor? He's the most loyal person I know. My liege, I have received word from a local village that the outlaws are becoming bolder by the day. We must do something about them. Ambush! Outlaws are attacking! Just give us the target. Well done, my liege. 
With the bandits out of the way, honest, hard-working folk are free to go about their business again. There was also a sizable cache of gold in their camp. I have secured it for our treasury. A traveling storyteller has arrived. Now, are you clear on the plan? <laughs> of course. Just give me the gold. <laughs> A few weeks later, a plot most foul would unfold. It is just like Olaf to begin a raid while our king lies on his deathbed. My young brother, you cannot burden yourself with responsibility for the entire country. You can only fight one battle at a time. Go and deal with Olaf, but sign the rest of the army over to me until you return. If you were to fall in battle, heaven forbid, you would leave the whole country in jeopardy. You are right. It is a chance I can ill afford to take. Done. But there is no time to waste. I must take the battle to Olaf. Best of luck, my brave brother! So William left to fight his battle with Olaf, leaving the hawk to hatch his plan. I, Pascal Devereux, commander of the Royal Guard, Hereby order the guard to disband? The men are to return all their weapons to the armory so they can be sold? This is pure madness! With the king's main army disbanded, the country was left defenseless. Your Majesty, the enemy are at the gate. What? Where is Sir William? Where are the royal guards? There is no time. We must flee, Your Majesty. And that was the story of how the kingdom fell. Our troops are under attack! Fight well, Sir Steel. I think I see a bit of myself in you. When I was younger, I too had that energy. My sword is yours to command, Sir Knight. Well, Edwin, why have you brought me all this way? Oh, no reason. <laughs> I just uh, thought you would enjoy the view from inside Olaf's dungeon. <laughs> Give Edwin his money! <laughs> Matthew will make you pay for this treachery, Edwin. Oh, that was far too easy, Sir William. Olaf, I will give you half of this gold back if you will finish Matthew's steel off for good. Danger, my lord! A massive army will soon be upon us! Edwin has betrayed us! We are under attack from his men! We're in for it now, sire. It looks like the bull has chosen well his moment to strike. We will have to fend off sieges from both sides. Angus of Clan MacLeod, I will let you share the glory, but I want to kill the Welt Steel myself. Then you will have to get to him before I do, Olaf. As you like, <laughs> but expect no warm welcome. For my berserkers! Now let's pound the puppy! The enemy are destroying our buildings! The enemy are destroying our buildings! Send help. My men are most beleaguered and cannot hold out much longer. Block off that 
Oh, and do not let them come any further. Time for me to take my leave. I will gain nothing by dying here today. I have had enough of this disease-ridden country anyway! Yaha! Well fought, Sir Knight. I doubt we should be seeing the bull for a while. Time we turned our attention to the traitor, Edwin. Matthew, you must return at once. Olaf holds Sir William hostage. He has built a war camp south of our monastery. Our monastery? Jacob, what is it? We tried to stop them, but our monastery lies in ruin. They took everything of value and burned the rest. Our life's work is gone. That settles it. Take the fight to Olaf, Matthew. I shall give you as many men as I dare, but I must remain here to salvage what I can from these war-torn lands. We shall deal with Edwin's treachery later. William has always been too trusting, and this time it's been his undoing. Choosing Edwin as an ally was an ill-judged move on William's part, and here I am to pick up the pieces. Olaf Grimtooth! Your days of butchering on this earth are numbered! Release Sir William and lay down your arms! I shall see to it your death is a quick and painless one! <laughs> I see war has given you a sense of humor, Matthew Steele! If you want your master back, come and get him! <laughs> I was hoping you would say that. For the Put good Sir William in the gallows! Something for you. We will not die today. Men, to the coast! William! William! <laughs> I'm fine. Olaf. Get Olaf, Matthew. Rest your voice, William. God be praised! Olaf has left behind most of the precious artifacts he stole from us. Well done, Sir Knight. A battle hard won by the looks of it. But our work here is not yet over. We have news of Sir Edwin heading in this direction with a good-sized army. The country is being torn apart by Barclay and his allies. And here we are again, back where we started. It's very frustrating. At least for now, however, our mission is clear. Defend. I will take Sir William under my care in what is left of the monastery. Sir Grey is to help me rebuild it. There is a message from the king, my liege. Stories of your heroic exploits continue to get my blood racing, Matthew Steele. I am relieving Sir William of his title of royal champion and handing this mantle to you. William will be devastated when he hears of this. It must remain forever a secret. The monastery is repaired, and so is Sir William. We both cannot thank you enough. Scouts report a large force of the enemy's men are marching towards us. Just so we are clear, everybody, kill them, kill them all. I want none 
kept alive, not a peasant, not a lord, not a flag, not one. Kill them dead. All of them. Kill them dead. Cowards! You are beginning to annoy me, royal champion. <clears throat> what did he call you? Oh, I am sorry. Did he not tell you, Sir William? <clears throat> Does he speak the truth? You've said your piece, Edwin. Now leave us be. So William is disheartened after hearing the news. He cares little about the demotion, but does not understand why the bond of trust between himself and the king has been broken. I've done my best to relay the stories I've heard. Worry not, I hold no malice toward you. From what you have told me, it is my brother Pascal who is to blame. I must deal with him before he causes any more mischief. No, Sir William, the hawk can wait. You must rest. Until you are fully fit, Matthew and I shall deal with Edwin's treachery. I have a small castle on the edge of Edwin's territory we can use. My men and I are at your command, Sir Steele. Quick! Land the supplies and get the wall up! We have our work cut out here. Edwin has already laid claim to most of the estates. Our flag will need to fly in more than half of them if this county is to remain loyal. My scouts tell me Olaf has beached along the coast. We should deal with him soon before he digs himself in. Odin! Give me strength! Best you can do! Come on! Defeated! <laughs> Huzzah! We have finally struck our first real blow. Our troops are under attack! Well done, my liege. Your estate management skills are the envy of us all. We now hold a majority stake in this county. Edwin! You are supposed to be looking after this territory for me. Tell me you have this under control. I do not want to commit my troops here. Peasants are dying from disease. Oh, of course, your eminence. I, I mean, uh, sire, my sire, uh, my liege. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> no problems here at all. Not one. 
That does not bode well. The hammer may have a stake here. I advise we keep our guard up. Steel, you impudent little upstart. Better see how you deal with this. <laughs> You're pathetic, Edwin. Give me one reason why I shouldn't hang you from your own gallows. I have knowledge of Lord Barclay's plan. He is after the throne. Oh, really? String him up. No, 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 wait. He, he wants to capture the bishop. He's going to force him to sign a writ legitimizing his right to the throne. Please, your honor, let me live. Put him in the stocks. I suggest we make this our main castle. It is in a much better defensive position. Agreed. The swampland in front will slow them down considerably, just as it did us. Crime is rife here, my liege. Edwin's rule has had a demoralizing effect on the people. It will be some time before the memory of his ill treatment fades. I have brought fresh troops. Why, William? Sir Grey has given us plenty, and this territory is now safe. Nowhere near safe enough. While I was recovering, I sent forward scouts to keep me informed of goings-on. Lady Seren, my brother Pascal, and Lord Barclay all approach with their armies. Separately, each of their armies has the potential of reclaiming this territory. They will outnumber us by roughly three to one. Then it is clear the odds are against us. We must fall back. No, not again. We must hold our ground and show no fear. Are you insinuating that I am a coward? I am simply not going to ask my men to remain here on a fool's errand. Men, fall back. We are leaving. Sir Grey. I'm sorry, Matthew. This field has seen too much blood. Let him go. We do not have time to waste. Repair Edwin's castle and put our troops in place. Phew. We'll be outnumbered three to one. Those odds are long. Do you think we stand a chance? Actually, more like six to one, now that Sir Grey has left the field. Have faith, Matthew. Things are getting out of hand. Sir William is no longer being courageous, but foolhardy. Worse still, here I am about to follow him into the jaws of death. Nevertheless, I have no choice. Oh, my word! Lord Barclay is here, my liege. There are a lot of them, sire.
Evro. You're late. I had a run-in with Grey. He tried to bog me down in a field battle. Where is Lady Seren? Forget Seren. We start without her. Form up! On my command! Trebuchets! Fire! Wait! I have arrived! Seren! Get in position! Quickly! Please, can we get on with it? Wait, let me talk with them. What? I may be able to arrange for their surrender without a needless waste of troops. We outnumber them many times over. They will agree to our terms. I warned you about bringing a woman into battle. Fine. Feel free to risk your own neck. As soon as the talks fail, we will begin the siege. Oh, the witch! The witch! Get her away from me! Be quiet, Edwin. Lady Seren, have you come to surrender? What? I am on your side, you foolish man. Now listen. Look, she is signaling. A white flag? Does that mean they have surrendered? She has betrayed us! Stop the attack! A treasurer has turned to crime, my liege. Time to cry, my liege. Billy, you thought me a witch? Saren, please, not in front of the men. <laughs> well, Sir William, I must take my leave. The king rests with me, and he shall be expecting me back. The king? You must take me to him. It will not go easy, William. He thinks you a traitor, and with good cause. You left his side, signed over the royal guard, attacked one of my castles, and freed an enemy of the crown. Hardly the valiant deeds of a noble knight. Surely you do not believe me a traitor. No, William, I never thought you so. Now, you are to both come with me. We must try to convince the king of your true allegiance. With the king's location known, my adventure has now reached a crossroad. As William and Seren prepared to leave, Lord Barclay has arrived with a proposition. It is time for me to decide what path my life will take. Come, Matthew! What are you waiting for? The people need rulers like us, Matthew. Leaders who can make the painful decisions necessary. Join us, and together we will make this country great again. Great! You have butchered your way across this land. Under you, the people would know naught but poverty. 
Should I follow my heart and remain loyal to my friend, or take sides with Barclay and look for the crown myself? We ride tonight for Seren's Abbey. I suggest you deal with our friend the Abbess, Matthew, whilst Pascal travels the country putting out the fires you have lit. Before the two lovers left, her fool tongue let slip that she was hiding the king. If we make haste, we may catch him before the coward starts running again. <laughs> My day cannot get any better. In truth, I've grown weary of Sir William's endless charging about this country, achieving little. Barclay and the Hawk are dangerous men, but only through them can I gain the power I now crave. I will keep them occupied with my trebuchets. It is up to the prodigy to decide when he moves in for the king. There's no sign of the king. No matter. The bishop here is about to usher in a new ruler. Sign here. Wait! The agreement was we were to be equal partners. Well, we cannot all be king. No. I suggest that your scribe prepares a new edict. Whosoever presents the crown to the church shall be king. Still no news on the gusset king. He'll be found. But until then, Steel, you shall have the honor of dealing the killing blow to your former master. Fine. That will keep him occupied until we find the king's place of hiding. I feel sorry for William, but I've chosen my path and I will see it through. Before I approach William's castle, however, I must first establish a foothold in his lands. Our peasants are inflicted with foot rot, my lord. They are protesting and have gone on strike for a week. I bring ill news, my liege. The king has raised an army and recaptured the capital. Since Lord Barclay has declared the king a heretic, our peasantry are most displeased at the news. Your treachery is beyond measure, Matthew. I raised you as my own. I granted you land and title, and this is how you repay me? Join me, William. Our king is weak. This land needs change. You and I together could rule these lands and make them strong once more. Leave my lands, Matthew, or by God, I will strike down the monster I have created. God have mercy on your soul! Now that I have made a chink in his arm, it is time to take the fight to William himself. My heart tells me he may yet still join with me, but my head tells me this will be a fight to the death. You did not forget me, did you? Me and the boys thought you could use some help. Where do you want us? Fear not, Sir William, that I shall teach these traitors a lesson they will not forget. 
Matthew Steele, your time on this earth is ending. I will see to it that you face justice before this day is out. <laughs> the Clan McLean will avenge me. I am... <laughs> and suits are under attack! Buildings are on fire, sire! out of time, out of allies, and at our mercy. Once the castle falls, both of you are to fall back. I will launch the final assault. It boils down to this. The church will recognize whoever presents the crown. Let us ensure it is I. My destiny is at hand. The only acceptable outcome from today's fight is my coronation. I must reach the king before the others if the crown is to be mine.
It is the king. I have returned, your majesty. Worry not. I shall set him straight. I put you all in danger. I ride forth to prevent my brother from doing any more harm. What is going on? Where is the king? Long story. Sir Grey, please go after William, take some men and keep him out of trouble. My lady. Barclay is sure to want revenge. Seren has given me charge of the Abbey. Somehow I must turn it into an impenetrable fortress and have very little time to do it. Your Grace, we have brought you the Holy Scepter. Marvellous! Without this artifact and my signature, they will never be able to assure in a new king. Criminals are stealing from our granary, sire. A peasant has gone bad, sire. An armorer has turned to crime, my liege. A treasurer has turned to crime, my liege. Look south, Mom. That is what they are waiting for. Reinforcement. His Majesty the King. Is this the valiant Sir Matthew Steele I have heard so much about? Is this mere slip of a lad really the slayer of the last Viking warlord? Stand up, man. The stories made you seem much taller. <laughs> I almost feel I should be the one bowing to you. <laughs> My king, people have died. Many castles have fallen. Where were you when we needed you most? Wait. Let him speak. The people only see you running and hiding. Your majesty, they think you a coward. 
There's more to being king than the cut and thrust of war. Nothing would have pleased me more than to raise my sword in battle. But this country needs a living king. If that means I have to run and hide, then so be it. But I tell you this. From this day forth, by God, my people will know that they have their king. Pascal, you have tainted our family name forever. Come now, brother. Do not be angry. Soon our family name will be synonymous with leadership. Rule this nation with me. Side by side, we could accomplish so much. Never. You have gone too far and I cannot let you go on. You shall remain here until your time of judgment. <laughs> really, brother? And how do you propose stopping me? Huh? On my command. Lady Seren has convinced the King of Sir William's true allegiance and rides out with renewed vigor to raise an army. A message has arrived from a desperate Sir Grey. William is trapped in the Hawks' lands. I must ride to their aid immediately. Oh, I, I did what I could. But they were too many. Take charge of this castle. It is up to you to break the siege and bring William back to safety. I am of no more use here. The first of Sir William's walls has been breached, sire. His time is running out. Hurry your dab down there. Get that bridge built. They are making light work of Sir William's fortifications, sire. He does not have long left. I refuse to die like a rat in a hole. Charge! We have reached him, sire! You know the lay of the land better than I do. Direct me to your castle. So, Matthew, you save me for the second time, as I fear our task here is far from over. We must find a way to face my brother, for once that bridge is repaired, the gates of hell themselves will open. Peasants are dying from disease. Three of the Hawk's men control the majority of the estates in this county. If we are to survive his coming onslaught, we first need to consolidate our position here. Your popularity is falling. Gone bad, sire. People are leaving the castle. Your honor, there is news from the king. Not only has he raised an army, but he has also recaptured the capital. The news of his victory is ringing out across the country.
Our troops are under attack! Pascal will soon finish his bridge. We need to work fast at strengthening our defenses for the coming attack. The bridge is finished, sire. The hawk approaches. It looks like he is holding back, sire. Maybe there are yet more troops to come. Start without me, did you? Get your troops in position, McLeod. I have waited long enough. Never have I seen such an army. We face the toughest fight of our lives, Matthew. Sire! To the south! I fear all hope is lost. As you once told me, William, you need more than troops to win a war. To arms! launch your assault. That would be convenient for you, would it not? No, you charge first, and I will guard your rear. No one gets the better of the Kwan Kwan. You steal, you have just removed another obstacle between the throne and me. That was quite a show. It is a shame you did not take me up on my offer. I am going to enjoy this. Our men are spent. We are at the mercy of Barclay's knights. No, wait! Look northwards! Sir William! Sir Matthew! Good afternoon! The king thought you could use a little help. You meddling old fool! Fall back! Ah! Oh. 
We buried Sir Grey in Lady Seren's Abbey. He has fought longer than anyone else has in this war, but will not see the final battle. It has been many a year since we last spoke, William, and all that time, my advisors have been telling me that you were the one who betrayed our country. Your Majesty, I would never... William! <laughs> you make a very poor traitor. Welcome back. Your Majesty. William and the King have mended their bond of trust, and we are ready for the final assault. The King has laid down the plans for our three-pronged attack, with each of us commanding a separate battle. Kill them all, the new! Bring the King's hatchet! He had a stick! Captain, look to your rear! We must send him reinforcement! No! Commence the siege! I will hold here! I die, but the clan MacLeod lives on. My brothers will avenge me!